your girl Mila B. So today I have my friend Anita. She's from India, so of course she's Indian. Namaste. My name is Anita and I'm a friend of Mila. And today we're gonna do something different, something fun. <laughs> we're gonna try out some snacks. Now I have some American snacks with me. I have Roman noodles, marshmallow, chocolate covered marshmallow cookies, and the fudge wafers. Now I've never really had those. I have had ramen noodles. I'm sure everyone has At had ramen point, noodles. Yeah. If you grew up in college, you went to oh, college yeah. or anywhere and you struggled, that's pretty much the snack. <laughs> but um, Anita has some too from her culture. We're gonna start off with this sweet, this dessert called Gulab Jamun. Uh, very popular Indian sweet. Uh, and then we jump on to Alu Bujia. Again, an Indian snack, very popular. And then we're gonna finish, finish it off with uh, Indian cookies. But the interesting <laughs> part is we call it as biscuits. <laughs> flavored ramen noodles. Now I didn't put the seasoning packet on it because Anitha is vegetarian so we're just gonna try them dry. Are Sometimes that works too, you know. <laughs> just saying. There's no flavor. There's no flavor. It feels bland. Very bland. It kind of tastes like the oriental pack, like the blue pack. Mm. That's just the normal one. I, I don't course, know. It's kind of good. I of course need some masala to this. I kind of like it plain. Never really thought about eating ramen noodles plain. Just works as a good snack, right? Mm hmm So we're gonna try bujia. It's by this popular company called Haldi Rams. Aloo bujia. Aloo is basically potato. Bujia is just says spicy potato noodles. So mm, spicy potato let's noodles. Let's give it a shot. It's just rice flour fried, coated with Indian spices. So you should get mm. some flavor of some Indian spice. It's good. Is it spicy? Not really. It kind of tastes like a potato chip. Super popular Indian snack. It's like a potato chip, but it's potato like little chip. noodles. Rice noodle thing. It's just broken noodles. They're really good. This is busting. It's really good. It is good. Mm-hmm. We are trying the fudge sticks. Dun dun dun. Looks just like Kit Kat to me. And I've never tasted this before, so. Me neither, but I know. Keebler's, the little elf, they, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're essentially okay. good. You ready? So it's just wafer. I'm going to bite into it. Covered with chocolate. And kind of oh, yeah. tastes like a, those little nutter butter, like fudgy sticks, the chocolate cover wafers. Mm -hmm. Bourbon biscuits, as we call them in India. I know biscuits have a different meaning, and bourbon, again, has a different meaning. Alcohol. And, uh, no. <laughs> Sadly, no. No alcohol today. But just cookies. And Mila, this is super nostalgic because okay. I think the last time I had this was back in school. Okay. I think, and all we cared about was just a chocolate filling. So it's all cookie, right. then chocolate, and cookie. So it's like a sandwich, just like an Oreo. Okay. Yeah. All so right, right, let's try it. Is this like salt on it? Uh, on sugar. The top? Oh, no. sugar. The sugar. Sugar crystals. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. How is the biscuit? From the top of it? Mm-hmm. But that's how all cookies are called, as biscuits. Oh, so it has nothing to do with the actual... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fun part, just the chocolate goodness inside. I love chocolate. It's like the best thing ever. Oh, yeah. I like the cookie. The cookie is really good. Where do you get these snacks from? Just an Indian grocery store. They're all available in any Indian grocery store. So last but not least, as far as American snacks go, I bought these fudge. There's marshmallows covered in fudge chocolates. I've never had it either. I know it's great value, but sometimes great value is really good. It just sounds decadent. Marshmallow, chocolate. That's it what just, it looks like. It looks like a donut. This is gonna sound pretty gross, but it kind of reminds me of like the poop emoji. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. That. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like looking at it. All it needs is like the little like no, triangle. You're making, worse. <laughs> you're making it worse. <laughs> Alright, let's just try it. Alright. Oh, no. This marshmallow is very soft. It is not hard. It is not hard. Yeah, Repeat. It's it not hard. It just cracks open. Mm. It tastes like a fudgy s'more. I was just gonna say that. S'more. Is it just a little too sweet for me? But I love sweets. That's probably my issue. And last but not least, gulab jamun. Yes, yeah, so gulab basically means rose. These are just milk balls fried and dunked <laughs> in rose flavored sugar syrup. You can fry milk. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so that any festival, this is always there. Weddings, birthdays, this is always there. Super important, popular Indian sweet. Okay. Yeah. Hey. 
All right, we just got done dunking it into this sweetness. I'm kind of nervous. It looks like a <laughs> soggy donut. So, what do you think? Is it for you? Mm -mm. No. No, it's very sweet. I love sweet things. As I said, I'm a chocolate person. <laughs> That's really sweet, and it kind of tastes like a white powdered donut, mm -hmm. like little donut holes, except the white is the syrup. Yeah, and it's cold. And, um, I don't like it cold. But you know what? You should probably just heat this up a little bit and have it with... Some ice cream? Some ice cream. I was about to there say that. Go. Maybe I needed to eat it with that, some ice cream. That's the perfect combo. It's warm, it's cold. That should work, yeah. I think my favorite out of it was the, the uh, bougie. My favorite would be the, the chocolate cookie, the wafer, like the Kit Kat. That's a total win for me. Perfect. Well, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, please subscribe, hit like, and leave your comments in the comment <laughs> section below. Well, thanks for coming, and thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.